over the last year to improve bicycling and bicycling safety in the city of Houston. Earlier this year, I was joined by Bike Houston uh, to launch the Goal Zero campaign to end cycling fatalities in the city of Houston. Uh, we're going to take another step in our initiative today, and I appreciate you being here because we really need the public's help in taking this next step forward in our Goal Zero campaign. Uh, the Houston Police Department takes vehicular crimes involving bicycles very, very seriously. And unfortunately, when there is an accident between a vehicle, motorized vehicle and a bicycle, a bicycle always loses. And too often, the bicyclist loses. And while we devote just as much time, attention, and energy to these incidents as we do to any other because they are so dangerous to the cyclists and the potential to have devastating uh, long-term consequences for um, the human being on that bicycle. Uh, we're going to put a little extra attention to these both accidents and crimes uh, involving cyclists and the public can help in that. Uh, if you recall, it's due to great investigative work and collaboration with Crime Stoppers that the city of Houston was able to solve the hit and run death of Chelsea Norman. Uh, Chelsea was riding her bike home from work on Law Drive last December uh, when she was hit by a vehicle driven by Margaret Renee Mayer. Uh, that information came into the Houston Police Department, the Police Department was able to work that with leads that they already had, uh, surveillance video and other things, and put the puzzle together. Uh, one never knows how a small bit of information from the public will fit in, but time and time again, we have shown and seen that the public can solve these particularly difficult crimes. Which takes me to our other partner here today. Crime Stoppers has been uh, an absolute godsend to Houston, to the Houston Police Department in terms of providing information that allows us to solve crimes. Uh, while our officers are working to enforce and explain the ordinances that we have uh, passed to make cycling safer here in the city of Houston. We want to make sure that we don't forget that there are some, still some unsolved crimes involving cyclists. And Crime Stoppers, because they, with their proven track record and our increased focus on cycling safety, uh, will be a key link in making sure that these open cases uh, are solved. We're here today, and uh, it is my absolute honor to welcome Michael Payne, the Executive Director of Bike Houston, uh, to talk about uh, a gift that Bike Houston wants to make to Crime Stoppers. 